Well, uh, we have no access to our computer system. The server base is apparently still tied up. A Cedar Rapids bus driver is giving us the first look at why a cyber attack shut down the Cedar Rapids Community School District for a week. For more than two weeks, the district has refused to answer any questions about what it calls a cybersecurity incident. And today, one employee told our KCRG TV9 I9 investigative team that the district is still feeling its effect. Now, she spoke with I9 reporter Ethan Stein about how it's still impacting her as well. Ethan? Jim, her name is Christine Houston. She's been driving a school bus for 13 years. This is her in the photo the district uses to try to hire more drivers like her. She says the cyber attack has affected how she does her job and with the district refusing to answer any questions about the incident, she's giving us some glimpse into the cyber attack that is still being felt. Cedar Rapids School Board President David Tominski. For more than two weeks, your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. Hasn't message. called us back. I love my job and I love the district, but I feel like sometimes the district doesn't love us back. Bus driver Christine Houston is the first person to tell us about the incident. She's scared she'll lose her job, but says she's frustrated about not being able to work and therefore not getting paid. It, it may be pennies to the people upstairs, but it's not, but it's 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 a car payment, it's a house payment, it's, it's food for a week. The document she gave us asking her creditors to give her some grace because she won't be paid describes the incident as a security breach. According to the Iowa Attorney General's website, it defines a security breach as any unauthorized acquisition of personal information. Law requires the school report to the AG's office if at least 500 people are affected. According to an AG spokesperson, the district has not sent any notification. Regardless, Houston believes her information was leaked because she says she's been getting texts from somebody trying to sell her miracle pills. What if they have my social security card, some number or something, and they definitely know my name, they have my phone number, so what else could they have? She's not the only person with this concern. Erin Davis, with three kids in the school district, is concerned her children's data is leaked too. She thinks parents deserve to know. That's my kids. The district has to do with my children and their education and their well-being. The parents deserve to know what's going on within our district at all times. We sent these concerns to the district with a list of questions, including, do you think the district is being transparent? It sent us an email not answering that question, saying it would send something in the mail to staff tomorrow, leaving the public hanging on the phone. We've previously reported the city of Muscatine had a ransomware attack around 2017. Spokesperson for the city did not understand why the district has not been able to release any information. In studio, Ethan Stein, KCRG TV9 News. All right, thank you, Ethan. And if you have a story you'd like to have us investigate, you can call the I-9 tip line. There's the number, 319-399-5928. Or you can email newsroom at kcrg.com.